Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over the years, I have dated women and I have failed at relationships over and over and over again, but I have learned something. In a woman's mind, a lot of the basic words in the English language have been contorted and rearranged over the course of time. If you're a man watching this and you don't have a lot of experience with women, then I'm about to open up your world. I'm about to make your life with women a thousand times easier. And if you're a woman watching this, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's see, if we start with the basics, the word whatever literally translates into go fuck yourself as long as there is a slight pause in between the words what and ever it usually sounds like this what ever the word fine does not mean fine this is the word women use to end an argument when they are right and you need to shut up but when you put the word i'm in front of fine it becomes i'm fine which translates to how the hell could you do this to me and it usually sounds like this i'm fine the word yup followed by silence means you're wrong, but whatever. It usually has a follow-up with a sarcastic raising of the eyebrows. And it usually sounds like this. Yep. The words I'm done. Don't be fooled, okay, because they're not done. This literally means I'm testing you, so try harder or we're actually done. The word wow, followed by silence, either means I don't get it or that's so stupid, depending on the way it's said. This is what it sounds like when it means I don't get it. Wow. And this is what it sounds like when it means that's so stupid. Wow. The phrase go away means touch me again and I'll hit you in the face. And it usually sounds like this. Men don't usually understand this one, so they continue to pester the girl and it ends up with the girl saying this. Go away! In a man's brain, she went from here to here. In a woman's brain, she was already up here. A man just pushed her to the extra level that made her release her anger that she was bottling up. The word wait means, if you leave me, I'll cry for days. The phrase, no, but seriously, means fuck you, I'm right. The sentence, it looks so good, means take that off, you're embarrassing yourself. The sentence, that looks amazing, means I'm so jealous I could die. When a girl says five minutes when she's getting ready, it really means half an hour. Basically, whatever time she gives you, multiply that number by six. But men have no right to get mad at women about this because this is the same exact thing for men when they are asked to do something when they're in the middle of something else. When a woman says the word nothing, this is the calm before the storm. This means something and you should be on your toes. Arguments that begin with nothing usually end with the woman's version of fine. When a woman says go ahead, this is a dare, not permission. Don't do it. And one of the most commonly used words that is not actually a word but something people do is a loud sigh. This is a non-verbal statement misunderstood by men. A loud sigh means that she thinks that you're an idiot and she's wondering why she's standing there arguing with you about nothing. The phrase that's okay is one of the most dangerous statements that a man can hear from a woman. That's okay means she needs a lot more time to think about how you will pay for your mistake. Whatever you did to make her say that's okay is being recycled into her memory banks for later use. As a man, from this point forward, you need to start building your defenses and getting ready for her attack later on when you're in a fight and she brings up this mistake that you made. This means you have to do a lot of things. The dishes, the laundry, bring the kids to school, freaking, I don't care, cut her toenails, give her a massage. When a woman says thank you, that's exactly it. She's thanking you. Don't think too much about it. Just say you're welcome. When a woman says, don't worry about it, I got it. This is another dangerous statement, meaning this is something that the woman has told the man to do several times, but is now doing it herself. This will later result in the man asking, what's wrong? Which will then lead to the woman saying, nothing, which means something, which means you are in for a big, huge shitstorm of just anger and frustration and, oh, you should leave now before you get your ass Humbled. At this point, you should start going through your memory folds of all the nice pornos you have because you're going to have to use them with yourself in the bathroom alone tonight when she's asleep thinking of someone else. When a woman says, I'll drive, be warned, she doesn't really want to drive. This means that she is questioning your manhood. And by no means should any logical man let their woman get behind the wheel. Not only for your own safety, but the safety of your woman. It's not that girls can't drive, it's that we're all... It's, it's cause you can't drive. Let's just be honest. When a woman says, are you watching, insert sport here, again, or are you playing, insert video game here, again, this means that it's chore time and if you don't get your ass up immediately, 
then you should prepare yourself for the phrase, I'm done. And now you're in for some more, you know, fucking ass whooping from a mental ninja. When a woman says, come here, this means that you are a bitch, you are a puppy, and you will respond to anything she says. And if you want this relationship to last, then you will do what she says. What most men don't want to admit is that with every successful relationship, it comes with a nice whip laying beside the bed. This is not a bad thing. Women tell you what to do, and in turn, you get an infinite amount of pussy. You know, you give some, you get some. And last but not least, when a woman says, you never listen. This means that within the last 20 minutes or so, you have been ignoring her, and you should prepare yourself for the loud sigh. Your day is now ruined. From now on, you will definitely listen to your woman. <laughs> and then they had to add insult to injury by making the picture a thousand times cooler with a Death Star. And right when I was about to have my picture created for me, the Death Star came out of nowhere and blew up the sun, dude. It was crazy.